Welcome as you join us in an exciting Dominion Power Kingdom Experience Holy Spirit Authority Pack Session brought to you by Global Diplomat College Center and Forbes Global. Now, as you join us in this online Kingdom of God seminar now in progress with God's Holy Prophet and Ambassador of the Kingdom of Heaven, Joseph Forbes, we are transforming students into leaders and leaders into agents of change. Principal and secret praying in the name of Jesus. Principal and secret praying in Jesus name part one today I want to focus on this subject principle and secret praying in Jesus name this concept have been misunderstood for 1800 years by religion and religious churches. That's interesting. Why most of us, our prayers are not answered? Because we have been miseducated about praying in the name of Jesus. Write this down, please. John 17, 20, 21. The prayer of Jesus Christ, a 30-year-old man who is the Lord God from Nazareth, he prayed this prayer, our King. Jesus had a relationship with his Father. My prayer, Jesus is talking now, is not for those alone, meaning his disciples. I also pray for those who believed in me through their message. I mean, every individual, every human, who, when you are a disciple, you get in contact by sharing the gospel, the good news of Jesus with them of the kingdom. They hear that message. Jesus already prayed for them long ago that all them may be one. Father, just as you are in me, and I in you, may also be in us, so that the world might believe that you have sent me. Folks have been misunderstood religion, Christianity, Islam, Hinduism, Judaism, Catholicism, have been misunderstood the power of prayer. Pray in Jesus' name. Wow, that's in the Western. There are seven principles of praying in Jesus' name. One, principle one, there must be a relationship with you and with the Father in heaven. You must be in the right relationship with the government of heaven. You must be in the right alignment with the government of heaven, the authority. You must be in right fellowship with the government authority. You must know him. How can you pray and you don't know the person? How can you pray in use his name and you don't know who about him? You must experience, you must know him who you represent. Two, prayer is a legal activity. Prayer is legal. It is legal. It's a legal word. Prayer is not a religious activity where people use it for everything. Everything happened on earth. They use it for prayer. They use prayer like magic, like witchcraft. They use prayer. They get mad and they cuss in prayer. They use prayer for many things. Even the drunkard, he used prayer. He called on Jesus. Prayer is a petition. Legal. Prayer is, is a petition. You may say, what is a petition? A petition is a written request or signed by people, many people, appealing to an authority with respect to a petition cost. It is a formal request 
to an authority and petition a cause. It's asking for something or for information. You request the authority or you request to the court your case. If you will have a lawsuit case or one is you request in written writing, it is appeal. So prayer is a legal activity. Prayer is a petition. Petition is prayer. It demands the legal rights. When you petition any case, you go and you petition for your rights. Prayer is petition God, Abba Father, for your rights. Prayer is petition the government of heaven, the seven. Prayer is petition the government of heaven. It, it, it is a covenant between the people and their government. You are a citizen of any country. You have the legal rights to petition that country for welfare or social service. You will go in the name of the company. You will go in the name of the government. You petition them, you request for it. That's amazing. If you do not understand the seven concept, you will never understand the Bible. You will never understand the Bible now. Write this down, please. Matthew 18, 20, NIV. Again, truly I say to you, that if two of you on earth, not one, two of you on earth, agree about anything they ask. So you ask in a petition for it. It will be done for them by my father, the government in heaven, where two or three are gathered together in my name. That name is a legal name in the name of the government of heaven. The two or three are gathered in my name. There I am with them. So Jesus Christ is the government name on earth. Represent the government of heaven. To get anything out of heaven, you got to go through the name of Jesus. You got to request it through the name of Jesus. Now, this is a fantastic prayer. It's about Moses. Moses petitioned God, the government, on behalf of Israel. Exodus 32, 11. Leading the eleventh verse. Then Moses inquired the Lord his God and said, O oh Lord, why do you angry burn against your people? Why are you so mad and angry, God? Against your people? He in prayer. <laughs> He in prayer, he petitioned on heaven who you have brought out from the land of Egypt. God save you, yes God save you. Many Christians I'm saved. Now you gotta petition God with great power and mighty hand you brought me out. Why should the Egyptians speak saying with evil intend to brought them out to kill them in the mountains and destroy them and wipe them from the face of the earth. Now, Moses telling God, the creator, he had a relationship with God. He was in the right fellowship. He was in the right alignment. He's in the right relationship. He said, turn you from the burning anger and change your mind about destroying, doing this harm to your people. Now he reminding God about something. It's legal. He petitioning God. Remember Abraham, Isaac, 
Israel, your servant, to whom you swore by yourself, shall to them I will multiply your descendants as the star of the heavens. Wow! I will multiply your descendants as the star of heaven. And the Lord, the government of heaven. <laughs> and the Lord, which is the king, they even use the Lord in Jesus' name. Let the, all the houses of Israel know, surely, that God had made the same Jesus you crucified, both Lord and Christ. This Jesus now, and the Lord Jesus Christ, his name. And the Lord spoken, I spoken, I will give to your descendants, and they shall forever. So the Lord, the Lord changed his mind. Wow, that's prayer, petition and answer. That's using the name of Jesus correctly, effectively, and the Lord changed his mind about this harm, which he said he would do to his people. Now, many folk have been using the name of Jesus to do all sorts of things. So many shall come in my name, say I'm Lord, Lord, but I never know you. Depart from me iniquity. That means they using, they had no relationship. They had no fellowship. They're not on the right standing with God. He said, I never known you. I don't even know you. Depart from me, get away from me. You work in iniquity, witchcraft. Wow, wow, wow. Now, many folks have been using the scripture Christians and religious leaders, if my people, but you're called by my name. Notice it didn't say individual, if my individual, if my people, more than one. My people, but you're called by my name. My people ask my name, but you're called by my name. So humble themselves and pray. Seek my face. That word seek mean ask, and that word ask mean petition, and that mean petition mean request. This Kingdom Seminar has been brought to you by Global Diplomat College Center through all the ambassadors in the Embassy Centers. Matthew 24, 14 declares, And this Gospel of the Kingdom shall be preached in all the world as a witness to all the nations, then shall the end come. For God did not send His Son into the world to condemn the world, but that the world might be saved through Him. We want to thank and appreciate all our subscribers and viewers all over the world. Thank you so much for being partners with us in proclaiming the gospel of the kingdom. If you are not subscribed yet, please subscribe to this channel, Global Diplomat College Center, and click that notification bell for the update videos. God bless you and your families. God bless all the nations of the world. Glory to God alone, King of kings and Lord of lords.